Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In this video, I wanted to share with you a really great fish. It's right behind me over here. That is the Von Rio Tetra. It's a great fish and a really cool setup. Hope you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. So this is the Von Rio Tetra. It's in a 55 gallon tank. Really cool setup. All of these fish, including the Von Rio Tetra, came from flipaquatics.com. If you're looking for these fish online, definitely check them out. I will put their information in the description below. They are a channel sponsor and supplied us with all these really cool fish. The Von Rio Tetra. It comes from South America. It is from the Rio de Janeiro area in South America. The water there is can be slightly acidic to neutral depending on the specific location and usually it's on the softer side. Now these fish are awesome as you can see they are the ones that are kind of like that pale yellow have a little bit of orange and they generally grow to around an inch maybe slightly larger inch to an inch and a half so they stay relatively small which is nice. They are peaceful fish and so as you can see here we have a group in a 55 gallon of about 12 or so and they're doing awesome with other fish of similar size and of similar temperament again on the more peaceful side this is generally speaking a community tank again the coloration as you can see throughout this video they're going to have kind of a yellow color and a lot of times you'll see a darker orange start to appear on the lower part of their body the mate the males having a little bit more color than the females as they age they get a little bit more color Males are also going to be smaller. They're not going to be as round in the belly, and they get a little bit darker anal fin than the females do. They'll get like a black line next to their anal fin. So when you look at this video and you see the fish that have a little bit rounder belly, a little bit larger, those are typically going to be your females. When you have the, the skinnier fish that are a little bit smaller but a little bit more color, those are usually going to be your males. Again, these are really peaceful fish. They're going to live somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five years or so. You've got a lot of options for tank mates, which is pretty cool. And there are, again, we want to keep it relatively peaceful. And by the way, if you want more information on the tank mates that we suggest, I will put those in the description below. We've got a lot of cool options that you can learn more about, such as Neocaridina shrimp. They will generally leave the adults alone. Now, maybe some of the shrimplets, those might go missing from time to time. But because these fish aren't very large, they're generally safe with the adult Neocaridina shrimp. You could look at honey garamis. You could look at other non-aggressive tetras, uh, especially things like gold tetras and neons of all kinds. There are all different types of neons, black neons and the standards. You could look at cardinal tetras, maybe some ember tetras. We just did a species profile on those. Really cool. The fish that you're seeing in this tank, in addition to the Von Reels, we've got some really interesting blue tetras. We have pygmy cory cats in this tank, Mira rasboras. We have the bristlenose plecos, which those didn't come from Flip Aquatics. They were already in this tank when we had set it up originally, but those are a perfectly acceptable uh, solution. We've got cherry barbs in here as well, which is pretty cool. Other types of rasboras, you could look at maybe the pork chop rasboras. Maybe the lamp eyes would be a nice contrast with their silvery body and their bright blue eyes. Certainly a fish you could consider keeping with pea puffers or sparkling garamis. If you are looking for cleanup crew, I already mentioned the bristlenose pleco, which we have some in this tank, but you could also consider clown plecos, otocinclus, quarry cats of all different types. You could look at mystery snails, which might be a nice option as well. These fish generally inhabit the entire tank, as you can see. You can see them at the top of the tank, in the middle, towards the bottom, so they're going to fill up that tank for you. The other thing you could do is look at maybe some hatchet fish. A lot of the live bears work really well, like guppies and platies and endlers, glass cats. Maybe you want to look at some type of cichlid, and I think some safe cichlids might be crebenzis or rams or apistos. And so the bottom line is you've got a lot of options when it comes to tank mates. Now, when it comes to water parameters, we keep our tanks pretty close to 80 degrees. They fluctuate somewhere around between 78 and 80. And these fish do really well somewhere around 76 to 82. Like I said, we're right in the middle and they're doing great. The pH, ideally, if you've got a pH right around neutral, so let's say six to maybe seven and a half, you're in pretty good shape. Our pH is actually a little bit higher. I would say it's slightly out of the ideal range, being closer to an eight. 
obviously they're doing okay. They're living life, happy, active, and eating well. But if you've got around a neutral pH, that's going to be probably pretty close to ideal. Water hardness, they're fairly tolerant of water hardness, anywhere from 3 to 15 degrees on your GH and KH. But you do want to have good water quality, and so you want to make sure that you have no ammonia, no nitrite, and that we try to keep our nitrates below 20 parts per million or less. Now, when it comes to feeding Von Rio Tetras, it's a relatively easy thing to do. Generally speaking, we feed our fish north fin flakes and micro pellets. These fish would love to have a snack of live baby brine shrimp from time to time, but fo frozen brine shrimp works well. If you're going to do fro frozen blood worms, you're going to want to make sure that they're cut up into smaller pieces because a, a full-size frozen blood worm might be a little bit much for them to eat. Ideal tank size, you're probably looking at somewhere around a 20 gallon. Again, these are fish you want to keep in a school of at least a minimum of six. I think a better number would be somewhere between 10 to 12. And that would be kind of a lot of fish at this size in a smaller than a 20 gallon tank. So I would recommend a 20 gallon, whether that's a 20 high or a 20 long. Either one's going to work. If you go smaller than that, you really do start to cramp their activity levels just because you do want to keep them in larger groups being not necessarily a tightly schooling fish as you can see here throughout the video in this 55 gallon they are relatively spread out throughout the tank so they're not going to school tightly if you're looking for a fish that's going to school more tightly some of the rasboras might be a better option now when it comes to decorating your tank as you've seen throughout the video if you want to mimic their natural environment they usually are going to probably show better with a darker substrate, darker background. You can see here we use black sand. We've got some driftwood, some rocks, some live plants. Live plants are not necessary, but that is just something that we chose to do with this tank. We do have two sponge filters running this tank. That is our filtration. And we have one 48-inch beams work light that is supplying the light to all these fish and the plants, and it's doing a good job. Now, like many Tetras, if you are interested in breeding this fish, they are going to be egg scatterers, which means probably the best thing to do is have a group. Make sure, of course, you've got a male and a female. Put them in a tank where they can spawn. They're going to scatter the eggs. If you've got a spawning mop in that tank, the eggs will attach to the spawning mop, and then you can either remove the mop to a separate tank that has been well cycled or remove the adults. The eggs are going to take a couple days to hatch, and once they do, the fry are going to be absolutely tiny and are going to need some type of infusoria at first, usually within a week or so with most Tetras, including the Von Rios. You can switch them over to live baby brine shrimp, and they're going to do really well on that. The key here is you're not going to generally get fry survival in a tank such as the one that we've got set up because all of the fry will usually be eaten before you would ever know they are there. And again, they are very tiny fish. So these are wonderful fish. Highly recommend if you get a chance to check them out in a peaceful community tank, as long as you don't have fish large enough to fit the Von Rios in their mouth, this can be a great option as you can see. If you want more information on some of the tank mates, check out those videos in the upper and lower right hand corner. Again, if you're looking for Von Rios, can't find it by you, check out flipaquatics.com. That's where we got these fish from. If you want more information on a lot more tank mates, check out the description. Appreciate you being here and we will see you in the next one.